is diagnosis, prognosis, complications, and disease management of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Four types of diagnostic procedures are used to detect the condition of beaches in patient. Spinal tap lumbar puncture. The fluid is tested for a type of change that commonly occurs in people who have Guillain-Barre syndrome. Electromagrane. The electrodes measure nerve activity in the muscles. Nerve conduction studies. Electrodes are taped to the peripheral nerves. A small shock is passed through the nerve to measure the speed of nerve signals. CSF analysis, elevated protein content up to 700 mg per dl, normal 15 to 45 mg per dl. Beaches with severe respiratory muscle weakness and bulbar dystrophy may require prolonged invasive ventilation. However, there is potential for complete weaning from invasive mechanical ventilatory support with associated function recovery. Patients with Guillain-Barre syndrome will be hospitalized initially medical emergency. It is important to monitor the individual's respiration carefully. If breathing problems are severe, he she may be placed in an eco-intensive care unit and put on a ventilator. According to the National Health Service, the two main initial treatment options for Guillain-Barre syndrome are intravenous immune level, which is safer and easier to give, or plasmophores applied. Intravenous immune level concentrated antibodies is injected straight into a vein. The antibodies are extracted from healthy donors, plasmaparishness. The aim here is to deplete the body of blood plasma without depleting it of its blood cells. Plasma is the liquid part of blood. In the case of Guillain-Barre syndrome, the aim is to remove the cells that are attacking the nerves. In general, the outcome of beaches is more favorable in children than in adults. Rarely, it can be fatal in 5 to 10% of patients with respiratory failure and cardiac arrhythmia. Recurrence of beaches occurs in approximately 5% of cases. Overall mortality rate in childhood beaches is estimated to be less than 5%. Deaths are usually caused by respiratory failure, often in association with a cardiac arrhythmias and dissodomation. Some individuals still report ongoing improvement after two years. About 30% of those with Ghislaine Berry have residual weakness after three years. About 3% may suffer a relapse of muscle weakness and tingling sensations many years after the initial attack. One third of people with Ghislaine Berry syndrome experience severe nerve pain, which may be eased with medication, bowel and bladder function problems. Sluggish bowel function and urine retention may result from Ghislain Berry syndrome. All GBS patients should be monitored for complications, which can include abnormal heartbeat, infections, blood clots, and high or low blood pressure. There is no known cure for GBS, but treatments can help improve symptoms of GBS and shorten its duration. Stay connected for more healthy updates. Do like and subscribe our YouTube channel.